Yo, well, go on. Hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export your beats from FL Studio 20, the best export settings that you need to get your beats out of um, FL Studio 20, and how to upload those beats to beatstars.com so that you can sell your beats and make money from them. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be a starving artist so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button and check out the rest of the videos on the channel because you will love it here okay let's get straight into it now i have recently well i just finished off this beat i gave it a quick mix and master uh i guess i'll play it back for you so you can hear what's going on This is called Ray Cookie. Okay, so that is the basics of the beat. Uh, here we've got a fade out and we've got the tags down here. So we've got our main tag that's at the beginning of the beat on this track. And then we've got our tags that will be used for the tagged MP3 version on the second track. I think that's a great thing to do so that you can just easily turn off the tags when you want to bounce the untagged web version and the stems and turn them back on when you want to do the mp3 version okay so first thing i do is i need to name this beat so let's call this pink bottle So we've named it Pink Bottle, <laughs> it's just a random thing. I've got a bottle in front of me and I thought of the term pink. So now I can have a pink cover with a bottle on it. Easy stuff. Then we go to, well, first of all, you use the right click in order to basically select your area of your song. You don't need to do this if you haven't got anything past hair but I like to do it. It just keeps everything simple and make sure that I'm getting my, like the whole song. And uh, we need to go to, well, let me just show you that. I just did that a bit fast. File, export, wave file. Okay. Here I have a specific folder for my untagged webs. I have a specific folder for my tagged MP3s. And I do have a specific folder for my stems and track outs but I have moved this folder to a, a different disk drive because it was just getting too full and taking up too much space. But the first thing I bounce is my untagged web. So in here, I've got a bunch of beats that have already been bounced. So I'll just go to one of these beats and I'll just change the name to pink bottle and I will change the BPM and this is the same genre, so it's still R&B trap, it's still ambient. So right now I'll press Control A and Control and copy to copy this name because we'll need that for later on. But right now, 
we've just got the name produced by you know your producer name then the bpm the genre the type of beat it is so that's what we got there here is where you get the settings you need we want to have song selection then we want to leave the remainder so when it fades out it leaves the remainder it doesn't just cut off exactly when this happens it lets it ride out so if there's any sound left over it will let that ride out we do not want to split mixer tracks we want the bit left to be 24 bit we want it to be stereo we want a wav and i want an mp3 to be honest i won't be uploading this mp3 but i use this mp3 to listen back to my beats in spotify so you don't have to click this but you can click it if you want to then we want high quality for all plugins max disable maximum polyphony we want 512 point sync i don't enable dithering yeah we don't enable dithering i honestly i haven't really looked into what dithering does <laughs> maybe i should look into it maybe i should include the i don't know i don't include dithering and it's been fine for everything that i've needed to do okay so i actually looked into dithering while editing this video so i could give you some more information about whether you should use it or not what i found out is when you are exporting your audio to a lower bit rate than is in your door. Generally, doors work at 32 uh, floating bit rate. So if you're bouncing it out at say 24, like in this example, when I'm bouncing out the web or anything lower than that, you'll get a bit of distortion. And what Diverin does is it introduces random sound, uh, random noise rather, that basically masks that distortion. But I do believe that when I master my beats using isotope ozone 8 they do this already and i already add a bunch of noise into my beats and whatnot with like rc20 and a bunch of other factors so i'm unsure if i need to add dithering and i'm unsure if you need to add dithering it really depends i highly suggest you look into it and test export with the settings that i'm showing you and add dithering and then export with the settings that i'm showing you and don't add dithering and see which one sounds better and then use that moving forward i'm pretty much going to do the same for the next beat that i make just to check it out and see what's going on but i just wanted to get that in there so that you know the options there basically now let me fling you back so you can understand the rest of the process save tempo information do not save loop markers because that just makes it really annoying when you bring it back into fl studio so i'm assuming it makes it really annoying when you bring it back into any other daw enable insert effects enable master effects and then that is done you can go to show files when complete because then it will show you exactly where it is but generally when you're doing this and you're uploading files to um, beat stars i suggest you open um, the folders that you have your stuff in so you open your tagged mp3 folder and you open your untagged web folder because this will just make everything much quicker for example if you're bouncing and uploading a bunch of beats so let's open both of these folders now so that when these beats are bounced we can just quickly drag it into beat stuff so let's let me put this on my other screen for now and we'll get my rmb trap kit out of it but we do need to open our stem. So let's actually go over there. There we go. Now we've opened everything and I'll show you what we'll do with that in a second. So now we just want to click start and wait out, wait out, let it, <laughs> let it render. So I'll, I'll be back when this is rendered because it's going to take like a minute or two. So there's no point wasting your time sitting here with it. All right. So Damn, did I keep this love filter on? My bad. I wasn't even filtering anything, really. Let's, let's get rid of that. <laughs> Any, or I guess I've had it on now, so it's got to be on for all versions now. But that's besides the point. We've got the untagged web exported. I'll show you where that is over here. As you can see, pink bottle, we've got the untagged web as the MP3 and the web format. I'll drag it all into BeatStars at the same time so we don't, you know, I don't show you this and then drag it in and then do blah, blah, blah. I think that would be quite annoying. Next thing we need to do is enable all the tags so we can have a tagged version. So let's go to file, export, and we go to MP3 file. Now, if you've never done this before, you may 
one if this is like your first beat that you're exporting don't click mp3 file click wav file and then you may want to go into the wavs just in case you didn't copy the name like i told you to do in the video i know some people will skip that step because they'll be like i don't need to do that just in case you didn't copy the name you can go back into the webs and copy the name from there but because we have picked mp3 we actually can't see any web files so that's why you need to copy the name beforehand so let's actually not do what i was just doing there that would have renamed the file by accident what we need to do is click on any one of these files because i've already done this many many times but if you're doing this from the beginning then you just paste your file name and then do brackets and write tagged so that you know this is the tagged version of the beat and then click save and then leave that as just mp3 leave all the options from before down here the same and you want your mp3 bitrate to be 320 kbps still want stereo I still want song selection still want leave remainder and click start okay now we've got our tagged wav exported the next part is the stems which i've got a full video on how to export stems but since this is a video on how to export your beats and upload it to beat stars i think it'd be a bit a bit of a bitch move if i told you go watch that video instead of having everything in this video so let me quickly walk over what you need to do before you actually bounce your stems so you need to make sure that every single element of your song is in its own channel this is my r&b trap template which you can get there's a link in the description down below the r&b trap template uh it won't have main melody verse and low up and stuff these are just uh copied versions of like the low up is a copied version of the high up main melody verse is a copied version of the main melody uh just so that those channels have their own specific uh, those melodies have their own specific channels so when i bounce them to stems they come out with their own channels in it so that they don't mess up and go through the same channel which would be really really annoying so basically if you're using the template or using any template you need to make sure that you indicate which channels you're not using i like to do that by putting nu in brackets so where nu is that means that is a channel that i'm not using so this is another channel i'm not using so we'll do that and every other channel i am using so now when we bounce our stems i know i can easily just cut out these three channels and my stems or and the current channel and my stems will be ready to go so let's move this mixer over there and let's go to export wave file and now we want to go to our stem location which is in beats in stem trackouts and what i like to do with this is i like to create a folder that's the same name as the project name so if i ever need to get these stem files it's really really easy for me to find them because i just look for the same project name so if I'm making a song to this beat or whatever, I can just, you know, I look at the project and, and find the stuff. And then we'll just write stems and then save. And then all we need to do is click split mixer tracks. I'll leave the remainder again, because generally when people are using the stems for a beat, they're like, they want everything to just be in the place that it was in before you're just using the stems to mix it you're not using it like say a loop so you don't need to cut at a specific point so here we've got everything we need and then we just click start again this is the same settings that we use to export the untagged wav and actually we do not want this to be super tagged we only want one tag at the beginning of these stems because then that will persuade people who are purchasing the stems to actually use our tag in the beat like you want people to use your tag because you want your your name to spread as far as possible and you want your you want your tag to be branding to basically branding that people actually want on their beats 
So if, if your if your tag has like all these other tags on them, then someone's just gonna delete that. Like no one wants that throughout their beat. That's dead. So here we go, and then we're just gonna click start again. Okay, now the stems are bounced down. We just need to actually turn them into a proper zip file that we can use. So let's go to the folder that we created. Where are you? Pink bottle. There we go. And now we just need to delete those channels with NU on them and also the current channel. The current channel is basically the master channel. So as far as I I listened to it, I listened to it back and it sounds exactly like the master channel. So you don't need it. <laughs> you don't need two master channels. The master channel is just so people can kind of tell what the beat was supposed to sound like like in the stems so you know they've got the untagged web and all that sort of stuff but if they go to the stems then they can be like okay this is what it's supposed to sound like for reference and then they can change it how they want to change it so here what i've done is i've just selected all of it and i've just right clicked and pressed sent to compressed zip folder and this will create a zip folder that we can actually upload to beatstars and this is how beatstars wants you to upload stems you can't just upload all these files because then it will just be a bunch of wav files you need to upload an actual zip file like i just did there so we need to wait for this to compress we've got 45 seconds so let me drink my water and i'll be right back two minutes all right, so we have our stems finally turned into a zip file. We just need to delete the 808 on the bottom of it, and now we have our stems. So let's upload everything to BeatStars. Let's get rid of this. Let's bring up our internet. In order to upload to BeatStars, you need to click this upload button, go to upload new, and it will bring up this window here. And I, I upload the stems by themselves because when I've tried to upload everything at once, it usually doesn't work. So don't do that. <laughs> Let's get pink bottle MP3 and we'll get the untagged WAV as well. Make sure you upload the web version if you made an mp3 version of the untagged web then we'll upload this this should upload very very fast next one come on by the time this next thing uploads that should be done so yeah let's get the zip file over here and then this will take a little bit longer and then basically after that's done, you've uploaded, you've exported your beat from FL Studio, you've uploaded it to BeatStars. Now all you need to do is you need to create the track and you need to create the, what's it called? You need to create the artwork and you need to release it, which I don't think I'll do in this video. If you want a video on how to create artwork and what to do when you're titling your track and all that sort of stuff let me know in the comment section down below but i feel like i've fulfilled the promise of this video showing you how to export your beat and upload it to beat stars so there you go <laughs> my question of the day for you is how many beats have you made in this month whatever month you're watching this video in how many beats have you made so far let me know in the comment section down below and since you've watched all the way through to the end of this video i want to give you a free gift of 10 free loops that you can use in your beats there's a link in the description or you can go to jcarterray.com forward slash free loops and you can use these beats you can sell these beats you can use these loops to sell you know beats and all that sort of stuff they're totally royalty free so grab them as soon as possible while this offer is still available and if you've got any questions or any other videos you want me to make please leave those in the comment section down below as i would love to answer your questions and make more videos for you and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music production online business and online marketing peace out